Hey developers, today we're gonna to look at Vue, CLI, and how it works with jQuery and Bootstrap and see how we can use the NPM modules to get it all working and set up. If you don't know, and this is the first time at this channel, I do videos on all sorts of different things from tutorials to advice videos to top 10 lists. So it's very awesome. If you like these type of videos, click that subscribe button, that really helps me. And I appreciate it and definitely share with other people if you find this video interesting. Let's get this started. Hey, hey everybody, so let's take a look here. I went ahead and created Vue, uh, init, webpack, my app, my example app that is, and I created this example app here and I already installed all the dependencies and it's running. So I don't have anything else running here. You can see here, here's the default, welcome to your Vue.js app. Uh, so we go ahead if you wanted to, just to make sure it's working. You can see here, this is hello, and this is where it's coming from. If I want to delete the logo and save it, you can see it's deleting the logo over here so we know definitely it's working. Let's make sure you can see it here. So that's good. So we want to go ahead and try to add uh, Bootstrap to our application. So let's see how to do that. So down here, I'm going to run npm. It's kind of hard to see, but I'm going to type npm install bootstrap bootstrap and I'm gonna save it and we'll just give it a minute and it should save as dependency and now I'm gonna npm run dev so the server is running again and now we want to go ahead and add it to our application we want to add in everything so let's take a look at our main and the easiest way to add in bootstrap and there's a few ways to do it but um, we can obviously if we wanted to we could go into our script tags to our CSS's and just add it in as a style inside here um, we can externally reference it um, to like some kind of CDN or we could copy some of the files from the node modules folder because if you know if you do npm install it creates the node modules bootstrap folder which you can see here in the left hand side bootstrap so we could like physically copy like the javascript files and and the css files or whatever we want and we could copy it to to a directory to our assets folder and then reference it through there that's one way of doing it um, i like doing it this way though so we could go into our main js and we can go let bootstrap Boots, bootstrap equals, and then we do a require, and then we put in bootstrap here. And we'll save it. And we notice right away that once the app reloads that it's just blank. So we look inside the console here. If we look inside the console, we get a big error that jQuery is not defined. And then what that's telling us is that bootstrap requires jQuery, which we don't have installed. Now you can, uh, jQuery of course is a great library. Um, I've used it in many, many apps. You don't necessarily have to have it. Uh, well, you're gonna have to have it if you wanna do some of the stuff with Bootstrap and, and the components. But uh, there's a lot of things in jQuery that you don't need to use because we can just use what's built into Vue. But let's go ahead and install it. So we're gonna do npm install jQuery-save. And that will save it for us. And we're going to do npm run dev again. And that should bring our development server back up again. If we still refresh, we're still going to get an error. jQuery is not defined. So what we can do is we can go ahead and add it in here. And I have written down, make sure I have it right here. So we're going to import jQuery from jQuery. And then we're gonna go global dot jQuery equals jQuery. If we save it, nope. So we just need to make sure we have capital Q here. Save it. All right, so our app loads again. So now let's go ahead and add in some bootstrap. So I'm gonna go and look at the bootstrap website and I'm just gonna look at a components. I'm gonna look at the nav bar 
I just want an example of how to use it. So I'm just going to copy and paste the whole navbar example here and see what it looks like so far. So if we go back into our components here, we have this hello component. So I'm just going to delete all of it out. And we're going to going to insert in what we have. Make sure I copied it right. So it added it all in. If I save it, you can see here's our navigation. Obviously it looks wrong because we have none of the CSS installed. So to get the CSS installed, we can go back over here into our main and we need to import one more thing. So let's import, we'll go bootstrap and we got to actually, when we import in, it's basically like we're importing it in from the bootstrap folder inside node modules. So if you look inside bootstrap folder, we got bootstrapped dist CSS. And then we'll just use the bootstrap, bootstrap CSS. We'll save it. Great. So now we have our drop downs here. It looks like our component is working. The drop downs working. Looks like the jQuery is working. So that is definitely working, which is cool. So the next question we have is, well, since we have this in here, how can we use jQuery inside our app? So let's go back to our bootstrap. Let's go back to our view component. And there's something, there's um, some lifecycle hooks inside view. One's called mounted. And mounted is kind of the recommended way. And there's a few ways to do it. Um, but this is one of the ways you can do it is to use the mounted lifecycle hook, which gets loaded after the whole page loads, and then use this hook to. Uh, to put your jQuery in. So if you look at the lifecycle diagram, you can see here we have new view, yes, before mount, here's mounted, mounted. Um, so, and then there's destroyed at the bottom and before destroy. So let's look at the mounted hook here. So if we go back here, we do mounted, and then in the side mounted, we can then put our jQuery. So, but there's one other thing we want to do, and this is not necessarily you have to do this, but it's a good idea. And I've seen people having problems with it. You can use next tick. It defers the callback to execute after the next DOM update update cycle. Use it to merely after you change some data to wait for the DOM update. So this could be a good idea to use. Um, and it's actually with this next tick. So this is kind of a good idea to, to use. Um, that way we made sure everything's loaded before we do anything. So we're going to put inside here some jQuery. So if you look back here at our app view, our main JS, we called it just uh, global.jQuery equals jQuery. We could do this too, global just like we're used to with the dollar sign equals jQuery. So we could either type in jQuery or we can type in the dollar sign. So we're all used to the dollar sign. So let's do this. And we know if we go back to the top of our app, we have this class called hello. So let's go back here. Let's do hello. And let's just hide it for now. Let's see if this works. We're going to reload it. So there's an error. Go back to the console. Uh, there's no error, actually. So this is what it's doing. It's hiding it. So that's good. So let's go ahead and just fade it in. Let's do fade in slow. So let's take it. Let's reload that. So you can see it's slowly fading in. So we know jQuery is working, which is perfect. And like I said, if we didn't want to change the global, we could just add it in jQuery here instead. And it does, does the same thing, essentially. So that's just a quick example of how to use jQuery in your view app. If you have any questions, let me know.
Hey, thank you for watching this video today. Vue, CLI, jQuery, and Bootstrap are awesome. If you like these type of videos, please click that subscribe button. That really helps me out. And also share it with your friends. That really helps me out. Thank you. Take care. Adios.